the monkey. Oh, I'm losing. There's no way I can win at this point. It's fine, Zane. You're not missing anything. You're missing me losing. <laughs> Unless she gets like a one. No, she got more monkeys. Why did she get all the monkeys? <laughs> Did I dip? Uh, am I, am I, is it good guys? No one was saying anything until I saw that people were saying it. It did drop, it looks like. I bet my body got split though. It's probably my internet just because I didn't have any frame drops. It just disconnected for some reason. Um, hang on, I'm gonna leave. All right, hang on. Anyway, I lost, by the way. <laughs> you can't tell. Someone say something, because I'm not seeing... I don't see any viewers in my chat stream. Am I actually live? It's saying I have zero viewers. Someone say something in chat right now. I mean... Okay, there we go. Okay, we're good. Something in chat, something. I hear your voice. Can you see my, can you see me? Well, not me, but. <laughs> anyway, I lost my train of thought. Anyway, Pawn, I, I, I had thought you still didn't like Wendy's because I thought it was recent enough that we had talked about it in ch Discord with Naron. But maybe that was like right at the beginning of Discord. And then I just didn't realize it got updated since then. Anyway, up. Wendy's is good. Wendy's is easily... Wendy's or Burger King? I, McDonald's sucks. Like, it smells good, but McDonald's sucks comparatively to the other two. Okay, hang on. Where did Toad go? He went up, right? He went up and left? Where did he go? Okay, so he... I want to go... I think I want to go the same way, but go right? Or I want to go right here. I'm not sure. That does give me coins at the very least. How many do I have left? Five. So if I go up, three, four, nothing. You know what? Screw it. We're going right. I need stars. I'm mad at Wendy's is the best of the big three, but is the only one that is completely out of the way. I mean, that is understandable. I don't know if jumping on Donkey Kong is smart, actually. I think that's, that's actually not smart. But I don't know which way is the actual star. Because they'll just get Yoshi a star. I don't want that. Wendy's is the most expensive, yes. I have not heard of a restaurant called Culliver's. Apparently the McPlant is coming soon, like a plant-based McDonald's burger. Well, Yoshi got the star no matter what, so... I don't like McDonald's fries. I don't know if Fuego is good or bad, but I don't really like McDonald's fries. Wendy's fries are good, and upon having recent um, um, Burger King fries, they were pretty good. 
I don't know what Culliver's is. What is Culliver's? Culliver's Travels? <laughs> I don't know. I I mean, I don't... I think it... The one thing I'll say about McDonald's fries is it really depends. Because I feel like if they're cooked and fresh... I think McDonald's fries are the worst not fresh. Let me put that. Because if you go in and get fresh McDonald's fries, they're probably good. They're, I think I've had it and they're really good and, and they taste well with blue cheese. Whereas some of the other ones you can have not fresh and they're still good. But McDonald's fries unfresh are awful. I think I can can we agree on that cuz I think that's I think I think my opinion is is a little twisted because I've had recent fries from there that it's clear they had been sitting for a bit and they weren't as good. Sturm is about what? Sturm is beginning to understand about what? Colorers? I don't know what Colorers is. I get that it's in the Midwest, but what does it sell? Shoes? Oh god, damn it! Yeah, I Mickey D fries start at a higher tap and fall faster, whereas some of the other fries re re uh, retain the temperature longer. Yeah, but what kind of fast food? Like, what fast food are we talking about? Burgers, fries? Here's the thing that sucks. Arby's isn't that good. It has good fries. Arby's is not really that good. It's not healthy. But, I get out of work at 8.30. Uh, and by the time I get to go grocery shopping at 9, if I happen to be out until like 10, Arby's opens at 10. So I was like, well, it's easy to just grab some Arby's on the way home. Now, Wendy's opens at 10.30. The one good news is at least Wendy's and McDonald's are open for breakfast. And Wendy's breakfast is decent with the chicken, maple, bacon, croissant. But here's the thing. I don't always want chicken, maple, bacon, croissants. I kind of want some burgers occasionally or something. All I'm saying is we need to respect the night auditors and have 24-7 menus. That's what we need. Arby's is a guilty pre uh, is pleasure. Like I, I anyone that tells me Arby's is gross, I won't really disagree with you. It's literally just its slogan was it we have the meats. It's it, it it is definitely not like not gross, but there's something that still I like I still like it well enough. But I'm not gonna like argue against it's a guilty pleasure. It's it's like the Sonic Chronicles of, of fast food restaurants. <laughs> Yeah, no, Wendy's bre brekkie is very good. Yeah, but Salas, <laughs> you should go have a ma maple bacon croissant. <laughs> I mean, Cake Man, I wouldn't have breakfast at a fast food place, but literally it's the only thing open when I get out of, of, of my work most of the time. Because I work night on it. So if I want to, like, stop home real quick, like, because when you're going your way home, unless you're doing, like, like going to the store for, like, chores, basically. You don't really, you can't, first off, no restaurant is open except sit-down ones. But I'm not going to, first off, right now, I'm not going to go to a sit-down restaurant. And secondly, when you're getting off work in the morning, I'm not going to want to go to one of those restaurants. So my only choice is fast food. And the only thing that's open is breakfast. So if my choice is between no food or breakfast, I usually, like, okay... I usually get, like, either a McRiddle or so something that I can, like... Like, there's options that don't have eggs. Because I don't like eggs. Did you, if you guys didn't know that, I hate eggs. When I'm being a weirdo and, and stalking Target when it opens for Amiibo cards. Have you found all your Amiibo cards yet, by the way? Are you still a pack short? 
I I don't like here's the thing I I we have a Taco Bell that does breakfast now I don't know when it opens but I'm sure it opens for breakfast since it's up for breakfast I'll I'll look at it PSI Kirby when the stream is done um anyway I don't I, like does one does Taco Bell breakfast have anything I would even want to eat it's probably all eggs right. You're still 10 pack shot. Short. The location is getting New Horizons. Is getting. Oh wait, I read that. Not New <laughs> New Hampshire. <laughs> I read that wrong. <laughs> Target says it's, it's location in the game. <laughs> You have to go into the game to get amiibo cards. <laughs> go! Toad's gonna win. He didn't get buffed enough. Oh, wait, maybe? Wait. Come on, there we go. <laughs> that was the most exciting game of Brother Madness. Also, this muddy water texture is incredibly bad. <laughs> Your Taco Bell has Brecky out on their on all their windows, but the one time I went to buy, they told me they don't do that anymore. So I don't know what to believe. They should take it off their windows if they're not doing breakfast. Speaking of Brecky, I need to play more Chicory. I need to get to Brecky in that game. Like, there's a town called Brecky in Chicory. I need to get to that town. <laughs> it's called Brecky. I'm not, like, this, I'm not doing anything this game. Is it even worth dueling Birdo? No, because I want to make some progress, and I'm not going to make any progress if I get stopped by Birdo. Not that six really helps me much either. Well, I'm getting more Dulo candy. Crunchberry cinnamon balls. I don't know what those are, but they sound interesting. Is it like, like Captain Crunchberry? More places should have two lanes, so you don't want yeah. Well, here's the thing, too, is some places have two lanes, like, a lot of the McDonald's around here have two lanes, but they merge into a single lane, so it doesn't really help. <laughs> Unless, oh, I see what you're saying, though. You're saying that if you look the menu and it's all garbage, you can just leave without causing problems. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> Cap and Crunch Berry's PC game. I'm sure somebody here has played that. They're fried dough balls filled with Cinnabon's cream cheese icing and coated- That sounds very unhealthy, but very good, actually. I'm not big on cereal, but I feel like using cereal as a coating is a good idea. Also, it's kind of a random thing for to be at Taco Bell, to be honest. <laughs> like, why is it exclusive to Taco Bell? This is a good name, by the way. Snipe for the picking. Mario Party 8 has some really good minigame names. They do have Baja Blast. I don't know. How is How does Taco Bell get all these exclusive rights to things? Oh, same umbrella company? Fair enough.
This is a good game. Oh, I oh damn it, Yoshi won. I made too many mistakes. I blame Yoshi. I got second though. Why are we being carried off by monkeys though? What is what is the reason for that? <laughs> Where did the monkeys come from? <laughs> I mean, again, I don't drink soda anymore, but I always like the idea of Baja Blast. I used to... Here's the thing. Regular Mountain Dew is absolutely gross. But I when, back when Mountain Dew had a lot of their unique flavors, I did, like, the orange Mountain Dew, and I think there was, like, a midnight... Like, a black... Wasn't there, like, a, a, a midnight Mountain Dew? Like, that I remember liking when I was big on soda. Hang on. Where... I want to see what my options are. Okay, where is anything? Okay, wait. I hang. On, where am I? I'm here. I can go down. That doesn't move me anywhere. That's okay. That's the start. I go, and DK is on the pit, so it doesn't matter if I get to a pit. This swamp takes you down here, so we don't know what is on that side. This goes up, so this is probably where one of them is. So my best bet to get anything is to go down. Okay, so we're going to use one of my Dulo candy. Hang on, before I use this, does the Dulo candy uh, still let me get a star, or no? Mountain Dew Voltage. Okay. I feel like vote for your flavor things either tend to be like a disaster or... Or I also wonder how much of them are rigged. Like how much of them were just they were going to do that flavor anyway to begin with. Damn it, that is a low roll. <laughs> I don't think I'm getting anything, guys. I'm getting a happening space. I basically can only win based on ha uh, bonus stars. Luckily, nobody else had many stars this turn. There's a 15 turn game on this board, I'm not surprised. Yoshi is in the lead for sure. Actually, Yoshi is probably going to get this star right now. Whoa. Yeah, he's gonna get it right now. The only way Yoshi can win, or the only way Yoshi can lose, and I, actually I don't think he can, I literally don't think Yoshi can lose. Because I don't think I have enough coins. I don't think there's anything I can do. Turkey Yoshi's just gonna win. <laughs> well, I could get a- Oh, I see Birdo having all three bosses because Birdo has enough coins, right. Because I don't- The only way is if we got a mini game that gave me a- I don't know if one exists that would be able to give me enough coins to surpass him. Or, I don't, can there be a battle minigame on the last one? It can? Okay. Well, this one's not going to give me enough coins to surpass him, and he'll probably also get coins, so. Oh well, good game. I won two, two out of three of them. I can't really complain. I only had... I only had 15 turns to work with here. I blame Summer. Like, I literally cannot win. I 
keep picking the ones with no coins on them. Hey, thank you so much, Salute, for the follow. Oh, I don't know if we've seen that one before. I think that one might be new. <laughs> well, it's an old alert, but it has a new emote or new GIF on it, so uh, enjoy. <laughs> that might be the first time we've actually seen. So at this point, we've seen all the alert, the new alerts then. I keep consistently getting ten. You scored second on our fifteen turn game. Well, I, I I won that one. Most people told me I was going to win that one. Okay, let's see who actually won, though. And it, it, Guess who it probably is. <laughs> Yoshi, what are you doing right now? What is that weird hand grab thing you're doing? Minigame star, maybe me? No, oh, well, he didn't need more stars! <laughs> Can I just be Yoshi? <laughs> I think that's me, because I think I'm the one who's shocked. What? Wait, no, this is rigged! How did he get more stars? What the fuck? <laughs> Me. Should have been Yoshi just to make it. <laughs> Should have just been Yoshi again. I mean, I did not do well at all. To be fair, it wasn't Yoshi was the very hard computer player. To be fair. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, I, I guess that. It mattered for the mini games, but I don't know. I guess it maybe it mattered for the decision making. Yoshi. Yeah, I, I guess he won. At least I didn't get last. Oh, Santa Blooper is so sad. Look at how sad he is. He's so sad. <laughs> I was not that far behind minigame coins, honestly. He only barely surpassed me in shopping. I mean, it wouldn't have mattered anyway. Candy I had. Movement I had. Red Space. Yeah, everyone else was tied but Birdo. Happening I had. Yeah. Excuse me, that well, we'll go look at the bazaar real quick. I hope you guys enjoyed this look at Mario Party 8. Uh, I'm really glad I played it again. It's a fun, it's a fun game. I don't think it's the best Mario Party for sure, uh, but I think it's a fun time. Probably not some of the best boards, but it's a good change of pace from some of the other Mario Parties I own. I think. Uh, and then we had the Kit Kat. I hope the Kit Kat bars were enjoyable. I, I feel like I didn't get anything too crazy. But they were all they were all good. I liked the fruity Kit Kat bars. I really enjoy a lot, actually. Um, the green tea one Kit Kat bars were fine. I think the one was just really strong. The matcha one was really strong. And um, as far as anything else that happened tonight, I I can't believe the pull I got for the Pokemon cards. You want to check out the beginning of that stream? Uh, literally first pack magic. It's pretty great. Uh, So, but uh, next Sunday at 7.30 p.m. EST, we'll be doing a, um, let's say, buy this, I can buy the staff credits. You know what? <laughs> sure. Um, at 7 o'clock, I'll be, I'll be doing, um, 7.30, I'll be doing a Name That Game Tune. It's a guest tune with, with Gentleman Lucas and, uh, Darth Bowser. So, uh, it'll be pretty fun. Definitely recommend checking out that. And then next Monday at 6 p.m. EDT, EST, it's going to be a, um, it's going to be a, uh, um, is there even anything here? Uh, 
Okay, I already have them all. Um, it's gonna be Star Fox Adventures continuing that playthrough. Where do I go to watch the credits? You had all the bonus stars that weren't here? What do you mean? Oh, oh, I see. Oh, right. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. I don't care about that. No, I didn't buy everything because I don't have enough money for everything. At the right? Okay. Hang on. Well, we'll buy more... Hang on. Let's buy some more stuff. We'll buy... We'll buy the dolphin... We'll buy this cake. We'll buy penguins. Okay. Well, then what's the parade do? I mean, that's cute, but... Okay, I mean, that's cute. I feel like it's not really worth having its own feature, but... Oh, there, you having fun at the Star Carnival? Carnival? Looks like you're enjoying yourself. Okay, let's see who it is. Yes. So I never watched the staff credits then, apparently. Hey, I beat the game, guys! I can block out my backlog! <laughs> see ya! What is the summer for 30? What did summer get? Oh, I can shoot things? Okay. Well, someone, the prediction, someone has to do that they won, uh... What am I shooting? I'm not shooting, I'm not able to shoot anything. Oh, I am sh oh, okay, I see. I did buy a cake. I'm gonna, I, I, if some, one of the other mods wants to do it, otherwise I'll, I'll take care of it when I get up. Oh, I'm probably sure I did see this then. If they show it after the end of the story mode, then I'm sure I've actually watched it. But it seems appropriate to show it now. But yeah, I enjoyed Mario Party 8. Um, for December, guys, I've said my streams are gonna be still cut down in December a little bit. We're gonna mostly be doing Star Fox, um... Adventures. Uh, we have a guest name that game tune on the 12th, I believe it's going to be. Um, name that game tune 2021 is going to happen at the end of the month as well, of December. And then uh, I'll also be doing Lo uh, Lost Winds as well for, at some point in December. Yeah, I, I'm like, I, I'm going to try and still do a little bit more in December, but I'm realizing like with Christmas and stuff, I, don't, I just don't have the time to do it anyway. So it just makes sense to kind of come back. I mean, I'm doing two streams next week, and I gotta work on my ghost emotes. We got some more ghost emotes that were that are gonna come out right now. Like I said, all the subs have access to all the, the existing ghost emotes, and then there's two new bit emotes um, that people have have examples to do. Yeah, I did lose. Like these are the two uh, high bit tier emotes right now. For uh, I think it's a hundred dollars is the gold one, and then the uh, Pride Sleep is 50. 50 total dollars in bits, but... There's the Christmas bonus. What do you mean the Christmas bonus? <laughs> no, I'm gonna make... I need to make... I have a Ghost in the Works for the low tier bit emo, as well as uh, another... We have. I have one more slot available for tier 1, so... Emotes are always fun. But yeah, I think this I think this game kind of gets an unfair rap because of motion controls. And from my playing it tonight, 
Most of the games in this aren't even motion controls. They're pointer controls. Like, a good majority of the games weren't even motion. They're just control stick games, but with the pointer. So, I really think that that's overhyped. Like, Super Mario Party does have a lot of motion control games. Somewhat. I don't think it's an over amount. I think it's like a balanced amount for Super Mario Party. It has just as many ru HD Rumble games as it does motion. I think people just tend to get, like, overly, like, antagonistic about motion controls. And, you know, I'm not saying that these are, like, the best batch of minigames ever, but I don't know. I, I enjoyed the ones I've played for the most part. I don't think they were bad. And definitely, they could have brought more back for Superstars, honestly. I'm kind of upset that these are all identical Koopa paratroopas. Why aren't there, like... A fly guy or something carrying these. Just all these Koopa paratroopers. This music's pretty good, though. Now, maybe... Will I play one of the GameCube Mario parties? I don't know. I've, I've had Pokemon XD for my bit goal, but maybe I shouldn't make it something else. Like, maybe... We should make it Mario Party 5. I don't know. The problem is I'd have to, like... I'd have to wake up and go to the old game store and see if they had it, or buy it on eBay. If I was to buy a GameCube Mario Party, like, it wouldn't be... 4. No for Mega 4? What's the please? Like, what, taking down the XD? I mean, no one's donating for it, so... At this point, I'd rather just borrow the game from someone. Pawn, people love Mario Party. I mean, I'm not trying- I'm not gonna play Mario Party anytime soon. I'll play Sonic Shuffle instead. Look, here's the thing. You would like it if I played Sonic Shuffle. Well, have they announced that they're not working anymore? I don't know what you mean. Oh, four. I don't like four. <laughs> Look, here's the thing. You don't want me to buy four because it's going to be me shooting on four the whole time. You don't want that. <laughs> I don't want that. Secret Rings was fun, honestly. I, I, re I respect Secret Rings. Yeah, but here's the thing, like, I get that blue fire, but at some point, when it comes to, when it comes to trying to get other people to like things you like, you gotta accept that not everyone's gonna like what you like, you know what I mean? And that's fine, there's nothing wrong with that. I accept that Summer's wrong and doesn't like Mario Party 3. I just just live with that fact of life and just accept it. Or that Mar that Summer also likes the worst Mar Paper Mario as their favorite. I, I accept that as just just the facts of life and you know we're still friends despite summer's wrongness <laughs> also summer i love you <laughs> i'm only calling out summer because i know summer's not gonna be bothered by me calling summer out <laughs> and summer throws me as much shit back as i throw at summer so <laughs> it's all in good fun I don't think it... When was this announced? Because that's not... From what I... The last thing I had heard about the eShop is that they were... Except... They were, weren't allowing digital payments or something. It, it was it was basically what Europe already had. It wasn't allowing you to buy the money directly, but you could still... There was... Or... I don't know. There was something. But it wasn't like the shop was shutting down. I don't know. Unless it's a recent announcement that just came out, but... I have thought about... I'll look into, though, some of the DS games, though, because I wouldn't mind trying to stream some of the DS games on Wii U, but I don't know. But anyway, I, I wouldn't recommend mass buying games just because you think they're going to disappear. Like, 
Because like Pod said, it's, you know, it. what Pod said. I'm not going to say it out loud, but. All right, that's it, guys. I'm done. Uh, we went longer than I was going to go, but that's because I was having fun. You guys are having fun. Um, let me see who, I don't think anyone's streaming, but let me look real quick. Okay, I think I'm done for the night, guys. Thank you all for watching. I hope you had fun, and I will see you next Sunday for Name That Game Tune. Um, let me just make sure. All right, yep. Night, guys. Have a good night.